Hi and welcome, you're joining me playing Eurofishing, my name's Native Zero, this is a new game from Dovetail, fantastic car and cool simulation. I'm a key angler myself, so I was very interested to see this game. So, uh, today we're heading off to St John's Lake, one of my favourite uh, fishing locations on this game. I'm sure there's many more lakes to come, but for the moment, for, especially for carp, this is one of my favourite lakes. Um, so as you see my tackle box number two, I've set up a three rod system. And you can see all my tackle. I haven't unlocked uh, all the tackle, but for this instance I'll be using the size 8 blowback hook. This is an all-rounder. You can use in many locations and certainly will bring you plenty of carping. I really do like this game. It really does immerse you into the world of fishing. Certainly the best simulator um, fishing game around. There's not really many others that can really compete. I remember back in the day I used to play a game by Matt Hayes. It was very much law fishing, a bit like Sega Bass fishing. So here we are on St John's Lake. You'll see all these waypoints. I've only really spent uh, time on one swim. You'll see I've highlighted the green waypoint. And then just in front of that is uh, the, the swim I tend to spend all my time on this lake. I will go to other swims, but for now, this will do. You'll see from another video I'll put up later on, I've got a lovely surprise from the swim. So, after claiming the peg, choose your bait. As I said, I'm using the size 8 blowback hook. Um, I tend to use uh, whatever bait, I don't think it really ultimately matters. And then I tend to cast around about 30 to 40 yards out, just out in front of me. All three rods spread um, evenly. You'll see I've landed in silt. Now, I'll chuck out my second rod. I just checked my inventory. You see, the first rod I used double sweet corn. Now I'm using it's an 8mm dumbbell. So straight away, I'm into a fish. But the scout just put down my second rod. Pick up the rod that the run is on and simply start reeling. There's no actual uh, strike in this game, which I thought was a bit strange at first. Um, you'll see that there's a clutch adjustment. I've actually got it too low at this point. Um, you'll see in a minute. I suddenly realise, and there you go. Put up to around about 22. I like quite like it, 22. Um, once you start going past 30, you'll start getting struggle and possible. Um, you often snap the line. So, what have we got here? Ooh. Quite a nice carp. This is a £20 common. So I simply release and then uh, we'll hopefully get all three rods out. So as I got the first rod, I'll cast again around about the 30 to 40 yard mark. So you see about 37 yards. Back on the silt. I've left the uh, drag at 24. Let's pick up my second rod. So this one be straight out in front of me. This has got the uh, 8mm dumbbell. Again, I've forgotten to set drag. It's probably worth setting drag before you cast. Again, just put it around about 22, be fine. So this is on 30 yards again on the silt. But I've got the all-round uh, size 8 blowback hook, so it can go onto any any bottom, whether it's weed, gravel, or silt. So the next roll, we'll shove on a, a slightly uh, larger 12mm dumbbell. Again, to the right. Once again, you'll see I haven't actually set the drag there, but once we get the fish on, I'll, I'll, you'll see I'll adjust the drag. Again, it's on silt. It's all silt there. If you go roughly about around the 50-yard mark, then you'll you'll get into the gravel. Um, it actually goes shallow, so there's a nice gravel bar there. I haven't actually um, spent any time fishing on there. Now, what might put most people off is the idea of waiting around for ages. On this particular lake, especially in player mode, you don't really have to wait too long, especially if you're using the right setup. As I said, anything size 8 hook upwards, that's quite the key point. And obviously, if, you, if you're fishing on weed, use a suitable rig for weed, uh, gravel for gravel, silt for silt. That's why I use an all rounder. It tends to generally do well in all situations. I think if you're going for the boss fish, you might have to specialise. So here we have a spod rod. Some people say it doesn't really make a difference. I find, I don't know, it gives me confidence. I like it. Especially if you cast fairly accurately to where your bait is. Um, can be quite tricky to cast some um, mechanics in this game, but once you get used to it, it's fine. So you see that I've cast it, allowed the spod basically to do its thing. You'll see um, a patch of where the bait's dropped out around my hook area. It doesn't take too long, and then you can simply reel it in. The 
before I have a chance to actually reel in this rod wood, my alarm has gone off again. So I simply put it down, pick up the third rod, which is what the carp's on, and start reeling. And you'll see that my drag's at 12%. It's actually, you can still get, have the fish on, but you've got to be careful because if it's too slack for too long, they'll just simply spit out the hook. So I, I've got a mouse, so I use my scroller wheel to move up to around 24 below 30 basically. You can't, if I need to put a bit more effort in, I'll put it above 30. But these carp tend to suddenly run, and if you're above 30, you can often snap the line. I quite like the way the carp fight in this game, I think it's very realistic. Got a nice bend in the rods. I'm only using 15 pound line, um, so it, you can struggle to bring it in. Obviously, if you go to more the 20 pound mark, these these sort of size fish are no problem whatsoever. Especially, I mean, I think the uh, weight goes up to about 98 pound in this lake, so we've got some great catfish in this lake. You'll see in my next video, uh, rather nice surprise from that species actually. So. So you see it's quite a, an exciting fight, quite aggressive, these carp. Again, it's, it's quite quite realistic, it really does immerse you in a lot of fishing, which is what I really like. Got some great scenery backgrounds, noises of all the nature, and the graphics are not bad, They're really nice. You'll know when the carp is done fighting, it basically goes to the side. Now my other rod has gone off, but don't worry about it. Simply concentrate on one fish at a time. Should be right. Here we've got a lovely mirror. I'll quickly release it and then uh, pick up the second rod. Yeah, the second rod. I simply reel it in. So as you can see, the action's pretty fast. You don't have to really wait for too long. Again, it's all down to whether you've got the right, right end tackle on. Um, I tend to like all baits. Certain uh, boss fish prefer certain bait. I found, because I've actually caught the uh, small plated boss fish on here twice in fact, and that was on boily. Again, I, I tend to put the spod rod out, whether or not that makes the difference, I don't know, but I feel it has, especially catching it twice, and both times was after I spotted a bit of mix on there. So just like real life, I would be careful when you're fighting these fish, if they tend to get into the banks or the reeds. Um, they can actually spit out the hook, which is again is a great feature. They really have tried to simulate um, coarse carp fishing to a T. Again, it really helps with the immersion of the game. I've played the game quite a lot now. I'm pretty addicted to this game. Whether or not that's because I'm a carp angler, probably does probably does help. But even if you're not a carp angler, I really think there's something for everyone with this game. It may even make you want to go out carp, of course. Um, fishing for real. So you see my first rod has gone off, but I won't worry about it, just concentrate on the one that you're playing. Um, sometimes they can, unfortunately if you're taking so long on your rod, they will spit out the hook, but it's not a problem. Because you never know what you've got on the end of your current line, you know, you could actually have a boss fish. So I'd always just simply play the fish, and if you have a rod, it's still going, so pick it up. Okay, so this fish is ready, so put it in there, put it in. It's a lovely, yeah, lovely, lovely common. Again, I'll release it and we'll pick up the first rod. This fish is still on. Play that and see what we got. So yeah, you've got to be careful of the reeds here. Again, they can really get stuck in there, then they'll eventually spit out your hook, so... I'd always put a good bit of tension on, try and persuade them to come out. Again, it's, it's, it's all that realistic feel to it, which I really like about the game. It's this nice little small mirror. I really do like the graphics of the uh, carp, the details fantastic, the shine of the, of the water, etc. It's brilliant. So thank you for watching, um, I'll be putting up plenty more videos to come. If you've got any specific questions, I'll simply uh, put them in the comments and I'll try and answer them all. If you've got any requests, any lakes, any type of fish, I'll be more than happy to put
put some videos up. In the next video, you'll actually see some fantastic action, some a lot bigger um, carp as I've got enough TPs now to uh, to unlock some uh, large size hooks, which then enables me to get into the large size fish. So thank you for watching. My name's Native Zero. Hope to see you soon.